proficient in workshop practice? Are they, yeah, how do they belong? And then there is the discussion, I think, which is very relevant for Italian painting, what to do with the hidden animals. I don't think we can find out what, why were they ever hidden. Somebody didn't like the animals. Because they are, in fact, very significant for the way that people act. The gesticulation, what do you say? This person is very afraid of this animal coming here, but that's the same with the goat coming here. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a reason to sit like this. Do, they have, do the opal paints have historical significance that's important to us today? Is one question that one could ask. And if so, yes, then we leave them, because that's part of the painting's recent history within the last couple of hundred years. Or is that change, whatever may have caused it, of such a significance, or of such so little significance that we say, yes, we can detect now what's in there, we can say that based on new technology, it did reveal this for the public. So now you, for the first time, can see a pig and a goat and a, goat and a donkey again. Is there any idea how old these opal paintings are? Is there uh, well, 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 I mean, it's I mean, very difficult to say yeah, something yeah, about course, the date because uh, mm. umber and the different picture mm. in the same aspect. But did you show a cross section where there was quite yes, a thick yes, discolored varnish yeah. layer in between? Yes. In between, yes. yeah. 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 And what about yeah. the seven um, It's, it's, it's uh, old opal painting. Because what, what would be interesting is that the reason that animals are painted out it has some kind of interesting meaning. Mm -hmm. Pigs were uh, disappeared, and mm -hmm. you can say that somebody knew more about Jewish customs than the yeah, kosher. Sure. Yeah, but oh, but yeah. removing a goat is the, the meat for, so yeah. that's another reason. And the donkey. And the donkey yeah. as well. I said in 2004 that some zoophobic restorer <laughs> worked on the painting. That's all it's I can always think of. the restorers, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all your fault. It's all our yeah. fault, yeah. But when they are still there under the overpaint, then bring them back. I think my starting point would be that one might want to achieve a historically coherent whole, mm -hmm. if possible. And that if there is no valid ethical, philosophical reason to keep a rather an attractive uh, area that you know is overpaint, I would be leaning towards saying take it off to get back to what we think the artist was trying to achieve when he painted it. Well, one could consider removing the varnish of these areas and leave the overpaint so far and see what that looks like. Because if the overpaint is heavily discolored and very as brown spot, very alien to the surrounding areas, then you might have to make the decision at that point whether you would accept that or not. And feel the solubility of this. Layer. And the solubility, of course, as well. Yeah. Maybe it is uh, oil paint comparable to the oil paint below, and therefore will be very difficult to remove. Although earth pigments. But still, it could be very hard to remove, so that would be another reason to leave it, not to damage the layer below and say that we wait until and one other technique makes it possible to do it without damage. You could also try to do it last week of the exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> now, now the animals come out. <laughs>